know, I gave the sport of boxing my whole life. I dedicated my whole life to the sport of boxing. And all I ever wanted to do was put my family, my mother and my father in a comfortable position. My dad is a millionaire. My mother, she's a millionaire. And the investments were, were for my grandchildren, not just my children. Yeah. You know, put them in a position. That's really what it's about. Yeah. Giving back. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's not just for the money, but of course, that plays a major, major role. I mean, uh, I wouldn't be Floyd Money Mayweather if the money didn't play a major role, but something different. You say it's not about the money, but it is about the money. Do you think the public... Oh, yes, it's always going to be about the money. <laughs> you think the public's a little turned off by hearing so much about money and billions of dollars and hundreds of millions? Do you think that that somewhat antagonizes people who are at home who are having a hard time making a living? I did it the hard way. You know, I'm a kid that came from poverty. Uh, I can remember being a kid living in Jersey with my mother. Seven of us living in a one bedroom, you know? No lights, no heat. Never cried, never complained. Uh, uh, just worked hard. To get to where I got to in life, it's been, it's been hard work. Uh, my dad going out there, when I live with my dad in Michigan, my dad going out there, taking chances, hustling to put food on the table. You know, he sacrificed everything uh, for me. My dad went to prison, and I had to become a man at 16. My dad came back into my life, I was 21. I uh, uh, never cried, never complained. All I did was work hard. I didn't never, never robbed, never stole nothing from nobody. Just hard work and dedication, that's it. And I respect every champion here, every champion from the past, every legendary champion. Only thing I knew when I come home, they say, you have to do homework. You know what I said? Fuck homework, put that boxing tape on. Cause I knew what I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be. I knew I knew I wanted to be champion. Whatever we want, we can do. There's none that I ever wanted that I didn't get. You know, I just I dreamed it. I wrote it down. I believed it. I surrounded myself with the right people. But the main thing is, you can't think you know it all. You know, my team. I got. I surround myself with people that, that got it right here. You have to have it right here. Have to. Me and my dad relationship, no one would ever understand our relationship but us. Why? Because we so much alike. So much alike. When you so much alike, it's like looking in the mirror. You know, he won't. He want a cheeseburger, I want a, che a cheeseburger. It's only one left. Me and him want to fight for the cheeseburger. Instead, we need to cut it in half and split it. <laughs> you know, when, when I was young, he want to listen to James Brown. I want to listen to rap music. Instead of saying, okay, won't you listen to a few songs and let me listen to a few songs. But I'm older now, I'm a lot wiser. So I'm able to communicate with my father in a different way. Whereas I would tell him things like, stop arguing with, with social media. Don't, don't worry about these people. Because if you're doing bad, they're gonna talk about you. If you're doing good, they're gonna talk about you. But we'd rather be doing good and letting them talk. And with me, it's all about being relevant. Hate it or love it, it's about being relevant. And I understand business. You can have another fighter that say, oh, well, he's 32 and 0 with 32, 32 knockouts. But if, it, if it's not in God's plan for him to be the man, he's not gonna be the man. The, you know, certain things that I would never forget. When Ishe Smith wrote me a letter when I, was in, when I was incarcerated, and he wrote me a letter, and he said, because one thing about me, I'm not embarrassed about nothing that went on in my life. Because I'm a man, and I'm, I'm, I'll always be able to stand on my own too, and I'm a fighter to the day I die. 